Raid and life, they're starting to come together. There's so much to do now. It's an awful lot to do. Hey guys, Fusebox back on Raid Shadow Legends, and I am have been on vacation for this last week. But I've been working overtime on this game, so today I want to do an easy but useful little talk about my life. Raid. Raid is my life. So maybe some tips to help you get through it. Uh, but let's talk about some of the problems, and then we'll talk about the solutions, what the solutions could be. Time. Time is one of the biggest issues. I mean, for real, I work. Like, I work a lot. And then I'm doing this game. It's running in my work truck. It's running in my pocket. It's running everywhere I go. I'm taking a shower. I got my tablet running. Uh, so, you know, we just had a reset. And you go and you start collecting a couple of rewards and checking some things out. So I don't know what your system is. But, you know, first, usually I run in and knock out my 3v3 arena because I've got to get those, uh, got to get those keys so I can do my faction wars. Okay, so you knock out five of those. I don't know. Sometimes they go quick. Sometimes it's like those seven minutes in heaven fights, right? You know, there's nothing like 3v3. It's like waking up to French toast and sex. All right. So it takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes out of your life. If you're, if you're actually playing it, trying to stay where you could farm gold. Uh, and it's a bummer, but then you can go collect your keys and you'll be back. Believe me, you'll be back. We have goodies to collect. That's always fun. Uh, so we're going to go collect those keys so that we can go. Ooh, look at there. Got a chicken. Got a chicken. All right, now we want to go and run faction wars, you know, and, and mine usually are pretty quick. It depends on which ones. So we're going to go in here, start farming these. Luckily, if you get your keys first, you hit super rage, you can do two of the big ones instantly. So I'll be back after this nightmare. That's one, but wait, we still got two keys left over and you don't want to waste those. And then we have another faction to do. So you jump down to the lowest two cost key and run that real quick. Then we move on to the next faction. So my first tip is while all this is happening, it's happening on auto. What I really did was during the Barbarian faction, I went and made a wicked turkey sandwich. And now I'm going to eat it during this faction. And hopefully we're moving on. We're about a half hour in. And uh, honestly, we're going to start addressing some of these time problems because it gets ridiculous. We haven't really started playing the game. Anyways, I'm going to eat this and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything should be on autopilot, but don't forget, you know, do whatever you got to do while you're running all this. Don't forget to run these, uh, these, oh, my bad, these uh, two key deals. I'm telling you, those little single uh, haste glyphs, the speed glyphs, those things are crucial sometimes when you're trying to speed tune things, and I'm speed tuning things all the time. So running those last two keys. Week stage, this is why it's worth it. I speed tune things all the time, but when you're speed tuning, a single speed glyph, a one star speed glyph, can sometimes be the most important thing in your bag. So definitely run all your keys, anyways. So we're 30 plus minutes in. Uh, we got our faction wars done, got our rewards for that. Uh, that gives you stuff for making perception gear. You know, you like to do that. So, uh, clan boss. Now, for me, the reset is in the evening. Our clan boss is surely dead by now, I imagine. So I don't have to do it. I've already taken my three hits. Uh, everything's dead. But when you do have to hit the clan boss at reset, it's still in the 24-hour cycle. So I just hit it when I wake up. My my fights are 26 minutes long. That's an, an hour and 15 minutes a day. An hour and 15. If I only use three keys, if I need to use four, that's even longer. Uh, so we're talking about over two hours of gameplay and we haven't even started using energy yet. So now we have this, pardon my language, but this soul shit, right? That's all it, hashtag soul shit. Real quick, I love the awakening system. I like pulling souls, uh, but you just don't really seem to get many, right? You know, you get you get some out of the Hydra and then it's over for almost the week. But, you know, I mean, you come in here and these, in case you don't know, there's nothing else to use them on. Make yourself a soul stone every single time. All of these, I'm telling you right now, they're always going to convert into this because this and this are the most important. What is this? Essence or. Uh, yeah, soul essence. 
the most important stuff. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Let's hell. Let's just pull it. Let's see. Let me get something amazing. <laughs> let's get something really amazing, like a. Uh, that's an epic. Yeah. Okay. Singer. She's a cool hero, but I'm not gonna use it. So you go into your collection, and if you know you're not gonna use it, you sell it. Uh, these are some questionable ones. But the truth is, if, if you know you're not going to use it, you sell it because it's all about getting the essence so that you can go into here and let's see what we got. So Cleoptrix is actually a pretty good one uh, and possibly Lanicus. Uh, what we got? What we got? Nothing singing to me, though. Nothing singing to me when you you're going to want to try to be patient and get the ones that you want, because this stuff does not come easy. Speaking of soul shit. Now we got a whole new grind before you even get going, and it does take energy. So you got to jump in here and do your run every single day, six times, 12 if you got the gems, I guess. I'm not sure that the rewards are worth it. But anyways, let me get this done. Okay, so because I don't want to be up all night, you know, that's uh, it's usually three to four minutes or whatever for me on stage 15. So, you know, you're looking at what? Four times six, 24 minutes, another half hour, right? We're getting past an hour in. And if you include clan boss, we're a couple hours in. And again, we haven't started using our real effective energy yet. So uh, I always check my market. If it's lit up, I don't pass up a single green shard. And this is why, because when there's events like the last one, I pull hard just for the 10X because I'm at a point where I actually want to target heroes. And I don't have a lot of shards, but it doesn't matter. If I come across a fusion event, which is about to happen, and I'll have some shards to pull, but I can finish it out with these. So I'm always checking the market if it's lit up. And of course, we're starting to finish quests. I collect these carefully. I'll take the energy later. Actually, right now, I could take some energy. I could use some energy because it's time to start grinding. Now, we've still got arena we need to jump in and run 10 runs of. Now, I've been keeping up with that throughout the day. I do that when I'm like in between sets at the gym. I do that when I'm hanging out with my wife, watching TV. Uh, sometimes when I'm working on a video, I'm doing that right here on my tablet. But this game is so time consuming. Seriously, I really think everybody needs to get some kind of auto clicker so that every couple hours you can run your 130 effective energy. Uh, it makes it so easy. It makes it so easy. Uh, Mr. Fix even should told me about one called auto clicker on the on the phone and so i can do that on the phone let it run and all you can do is check back every hour or two use your energy that's built up and then you know you can go in fight a couple arena fights or whatever but they do need to speed these things up they need to speed these things up so we got we got more rewards so anyways we still have doom tower to deal with we just got the reset so that means we need to farm and we need to continue going so i do hard first so now i gotta come through here so the rewards i'm just watching it's really good rewards you should really be doing doom tower even if it's just normal or whatever every day i'm getting energy potions uh, items for the forge it's some pretty good stuff and uh, I always do my hard stuff first the rest of the month. If I miss a few days, which I have, I've missed several days. You just come through. We got brews. I'm fixing to have a uh, champion training tournament coming up for this. This definitely do not miss fusion. So, you know, it's worth it. But man, the time, you know, I mean, it doesn't take time when you're stuck on normal. It's not that bad. But when you're on hard, it actually takes some time. But you're getting, I'm getting all my energy built up. But I have a lot of stuff to do when I get out of here, and that's going to make it uh, easier to get started on the actual grind. So anyways, let me finish this up. All right, so it really doesn't take all that long if you've got everything on lockdown like I do. But we get through this, and then we're going to move on. Uh, we got a chicken. I like chickens, right? So we're done with that, but we still haven't farmed, right? And now I actually have a fairly slow uh, auto farm. Do we have all our keys? I feel like I'm missing some keys. Oh, I was going to run a secret room. That, that's all right. We're going to make this four because I got a secret room to still beat. But still, you want to farm whatever boss that you want to farm. And for me, it's about like five minutes of run or something. So this is going to be like 20 minutes. So I'll be back after I go take a shower. Okay, so you're getting it by now. If you're you're already two, three hours into the game, especially if you had to do clan boss. Good grief. 
And we haven't even started farming, which I'm fixing to have to do. Here's the thing. What's the real solution? Plarium. It's going to be on Plarium. They've done things that were meant to help, right? They gave us uh, the auto runs when we're in our faction wars, and that helps a little bit. At least it lets you start running and you can walk away. We got super raids. I don't know. I, I like that that feature for sure, super raids. Uh, but again, it just makes that part a little bit quicker, which gives you downtime, but downtime to play the rest of the game. I mean, we just discussed four or five hours worth of stuff you could do, and not to mention you're usually working on heroes. You're building them, trying to check their gear. It's a time-consuming game. Now, I love the game. I love the grind, but... Come on, man. Like, wait, what is wrong with a 4X on Clan Boss? Uh, what is wrong with instant 3v3 arena fights? I mean, I've played plenty of games where you could just skip it and get a result. I mean, the computer, I mean, the algorithms, they know what's going to happen. They run the RNG. It takes a split second. You get your results to speed. There are many, many ways to speed up this game. I, Clan Boss is way too long uh it's the reason that i don't build i actually have the pieces now to build the infinity shield team and i can't make my clan boss run any longer my, my clan doesn't need me to do any more damage we're doing fine as a group and i don't i'm not gonna get any better loot i would love to build it it's super cool it's super fun but i'm not gonna put the gear on those heroes for something that i really won't use it's gonna take too long you know, most of us, I imagine, are working people, and uh, it's just a lot. The game asks for a lot. I like the long-term grinds and stuff, but the new soul system, it seems like a little bit longer of a grind than I expected it to be. I do think there needs to be a way to get more. When you're running stage 15, you'll notice, I mean, I've had some luck. I've gotten five of the larger soul essence eternal or immortal you know I've, I've had some good luck but most of the time you're just getting those small things that let you buy maybe one soul shard a day right and that's that's using gems at least up until now you know because it's all new and i've been testing that new uh, iron fortress team so you know that's kind of where i'm at is is i'm how am i supposed to get souls throughout the week you know i'm getting shards pretty much daily from the uh well from doom tower from running dungeons uh running clan boss daily hydra's once a week you're only getting so much loot out of hydra once a week that's not a very effective way to farm soul shards and soul essence is just i mean i i I've, i had something just yesterday that i wanted to buy i have countess licks at a three star to get her to a four star it was 300 of those essence 300 I probably have like 17 right now. Anyways, there's got to be a way to speed up the game. Maybe that bit of the part of the grind could be sped up. I think they probably will. I think I think they probably will speed it up because right now it's everyone's excited. Uh, I imagine like the whales are probably buying those packs. Uh, I don't think the average person's buying soul shards because we're starting to see it's exciting. I love the feature. I love the blessings, but uh you know, there's not an effective way to farm them quickly. It's going to take years for people to get where they want to get or just ridiculous luck with the very few, few shards that they get. Anyways, what are your ideas to speed up the game? Drop them. I doubt they'll look. I doubt they'll listen. But anyways, there's got to be a way to speed up the game. Don't let it dishearten you. Remember, make yourself a path. Kind of you see the way I go through it at the reset and how I do things at certain times. Try to make yourself a path so that you can still be effective on the game and still have a life because that's the problem. <laughs> Raid and life, they're starting to come together. There's so much to do now. It's an awful lot to do. Anyways, until next time, enjoy the grind.